longer we fuss and stew and tear on among one another, we still walk as man. Until a man can get out the altar and get right with God, he can overlook little things and move on like a Christian ought to. What can't call kittle black? Amen. Right. Don't hold them. Amen. Let's clean our own steps first. Use the strangers. I'm giving the church a little gospel spanking now. No, that's right. Amen. That's exactly what you need. Oh, you say, we got it. Get up there and beat a piano as hard as they can go and a bunch of drums and run up and down the floor and go out and fuss at your neighbor. Have you got anything? <laughs> no, sir. The only thing we got is the lukewarm. As long as the music's running, we're running. When the music stops, we stop. Brother, don't call the other fellow something. Let's look around your own door first. Amen. If I tell you, when you're old-fashioned revival like you used to have down the country when they lay on their face all night long, not to carry on, but when real godly sorry, not for that's all they say, but go out and make it right with the neighbors that made it wrong with and get straightened up. Oh, that's right. Scorching the brother, it'll help you. That's right. You've got to know that, my friend. Yes, sir, a lukewarm. That's a horrible condition for the church to be in. You don't watch the Brand Tabernacles about that same sway. Listen, you know these things have been taught year after year after year after year on this platform. Warning you of these things coming when the Bible said there'd be a time to go to the east and the west and north and south trying to find the true word of God and fail to find it. You better get anchored for you know where you're standing. But when a man is once born again, not emotionally worked up, not from enthusiasm, not the fuck his name on a church book, not the joining the biggest church in the city, but when he's actually cried to and begged with tears in his eyes until God has forgiven his hands, cleansed his soul of the life of sin, and filled him with the Holy Spirit with such Amen. love and godly. So he takes some old car to the back, he's stolen the neighbors and goes and makes up these things and lives godly before men. We will never have a revival in this country until we have that. Amen. Judgment begins at the house of God, by the word of God. <laughs> Amen. Not a textbook, but the Bible. Not what some church teaches their theology, but what God says. Then you'll have a revival where great powers and wonders and signs and miracles and everything else will take place. 